I'm out driving with Doris. I'm gonna be a dog watcher today. Since uh, Chiba died, the house has been really empty. So it's gonna be awesome that uh, Doris wanna chill with me today. And uh, Doris is gonna have a really good time. I don't really have much to say today either because it's raining and I don't do stuff when it rains. I usually just lock up inside. So, not much to report on. All my hobbies are like summer activities and uh, well, in Norway it rains a lot. So, I'm pretty familiar with TV shows. And uh, I don't think Doris likes the rain too much. She's kind of like me. I hate rain too. In Norway, there's been a lot of treasures found. We have a lot of Viking stuff, some Roman stuff, and uh, basically <laughs> a lot of stuff found in Norway. But uh, this talk is so cuddly. Just Doris is trying to catch flies. We had a lot of treasures found in Norway over the years. Most of them on land. We had a lot of Viking treasures found and uh, Viking things. But that's probably no wonder since we had quite a few Vikings. However, we haven't found as many shipwrecks that contains any treasure or gold. But in 1725, a merchant ship from the Netherlands sunk under her maiden voyage. The ship sank not far from here, actually just one and a half hour with a car, an hour maybe. And in 1975, local divers found the shipwreck. When the divers from this area found the treasure, they found over 57,000 coins of gold and silver. Over 6,000 of them were in gold and the rest was silver. But still, come on, think, just think about finding a ship from the 1700s and all that coin. It's life changing, you know. I know that the divers that found the treasure were tricked into selling a lot of it for really cheap because they didn't really didn't know what it was worth but I think all of them did pretty good money on it however in the same area another ship is rumored to have gone down this ship has been called the Castello Negro that is most likely wrong because they think that the Castello Negro went down somewhere outside Scotland however there is another ship that's gone down here. The ship that actually can be there is a ship called Borgia. Borgia is supposed to be a lot bigger than the ship where they found the Runde treasure. And it's supposed to have over 60 cannons, each of the cannons being worth about $150,000. This summer, me and a couple of friends from Rust, we're going to do some diving and check out if we can find anything. Do some uh, underwater metal detecting. And I think that's going to be really great. It's going to be an experience. It's going to be an adventure. It's not that we have the biggest hope of finding anything. Because there's been uh, Germans trying to find uh, that treasure for over 20 years before they gave up. So we don't have a lot of <laughs> good hopes. But um, you never know. Maybe we'll be the next ones who stumble upon a really good treasure. Um, that's it for today guys and uh, I hope you guys liked spending time with me and Doris because Doris is really cute and uh, hopefully I'll uh, get some better weather tomorrow and I can do something cool outside that would be cool but uh, don't forget to like subscribe and love Bulldogs see you guys